Welcome to the journey. Today, we're gonna to share five ways to increase workplace productivity. Hey, I'm Sam and this is Emma. So Emma, what are your tips on how to increase workplace productivity? Well, first I wanna point out that oftentimes companies fall into this pattern of doing things that are trendy. So while the ping pong table and the fire pole to slide down to the second floor can be fun and amusing, it doesn't have quite the long-term effect that we're going for. So I wanna dive into five strategies to really hone in on improving workplace productivity. So Emma, what's your first tip? So first tip to increase workplace productivity, go natural. This is a great time to remind yourself, go outdoors, get some natural lighting. Also add some flowers or plants in your life. You can put that on my desk, please. A little greenery will really help to keep the natural vibe and increase workplace productivity. All right, so what's next? Making sleep a priority. This is something that I cannot stress enough. Definitely let your employees end their workday when they should end their workday, because you know what happens after work. Your employees start to run errands, maybe do things for their family, do things in their social life, and then you still got to fit in dinner and sleep. So sleep should be a priority. Also make sure that they have the financial needs to invest in a great mattress. Oh. I know, I, I feel like I sleep on pillows of air at night and it keeps me <laughs> productive. Also, I would encourage your employees to really time out when they are off of work. And what I mean by that is don't check emails when you've left the workplace. Also, destigmatize naps during the day. Yeah, so I know I feel totally recharged after just a 15 minute nap. You know what they call that? No. A nappuccino. So naps are good, but what other tips do you suggest? I strongly encourage downtime. One thing that I see even my coworkers do, and I've kind of gotten in the habit of being like, stop doing this, is don't eat lunch at your desk. Take that time to go outdoors, change of scenery. It'll really help refresh your brain and your productivity. Um, also, I'd encourage working like 52 minutes mm -hmm. and then taking a 17 minute break. 52 mm -hmm. minutes, 17 minute break. That's easy to remember. 52 minutes, 17 minute break. And I also would encourage to go outside, maybe do some yoga. That has been really helpful for me mm. to just clear my head. Also, I, I sit at a desk a lot of the time or I'm standing presenting. So it's just good to get in other positions, stretch it out, and it will also help to increase your productivity. So we've talked about you know mental and you know resting, but what are some other physical tips of how to increase the workplace productivity? Ergonomics. I know at the GoDaddy office, we are great at doing this from having the right size desk. You could do stand-up desk, sit-down desk, even certain chairs are good for your lumbar. And then also having the computer screen 24 to 36 inches away from your eyes so you're not straining them. And even down to the mouse you use, that's important, and the keyboard. Mm. Avoid the carpal tunnel. All right, Sam, so that actually brings up the next tip, which is all about workplace environment. And I know I've been to your office in Austin, and I can already see why it's a great place for productivity based on how the workplace is set up. What are some of your favorite things about the workplace in Austin? So in Austin, I enjoy the fact I don't really have to stay by my desk. Mm -hmm. We can actually, you know, they have other rooms that you can work in. Oh, the private rooms. Exactly. Comfortable or, chairs, bean bags. Oh, gotta love the bean bags. But it's all about, you know, along with the changing the scenery, get up and, you know, go to another place and, you know, you can let that creativity flow and be in those other areas. Yeah, and then we have that big open break room with the ping pong table and snacks, there's a barista, and then there's long bench tables so you can work with even some of your friends or some of your teammates. And then we have the offices as well, where you can have a group meetings and another change of scenery with the big white marker boards. I always love doodling on those. <laughs> And I really enjoy here now Zoom. You know, you're able to talk to your other colleagues in other offices and you're able to communicate over, you know, video. All right, comment below. Let us know. What do you wish your workplace had that you think would increase productivity? Also, while you're at it, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so that you know when we have our new content coming out. This is The Journey.